everyone. So today I'm going to be doing my Chicago haul and I know that this is a little bit late. It's been like two weeks since I went to Chicago. I didn't really get too much. I thought I was going to spend so much money and get just like a ton of things at Topshop and a lot of the other stores that I don't really have here where I live, but I actually didn't do too bad. I spent majority of my money at Adidas, which was not at all what I was expecting. I actually didn't go too crazy, but I'm going to show you guys what I spent. I'm also going to include a few things from American Apparel in here as well that I bought back in the summertime right before the Kansas City One Direction concert, which was July 28th, so it was just a little bit before then and I mainly bought the out bought what I bought for the One Direction concert for Kansas City so let's go ahead and get straight into the video the first store is Mac and um, I have a Mac where I live so I shop at Mac pretty frequently as you guys know and I actually bought a ton of stuff from Mac in the summer I just was like crazy buying makeup and stuff so I didn't really spend too much there I, I didn't want to spend all my money in one place especially if it's a place that I have where I live so I only got a blush and it was just this one right here in the color warm light and I guess it's not actually blush it's a shaping powder but I'm using it as a blush and it's part of their new little fall collection the hot collection or hot dog collection or whatever it is but anyways um yeah and it was part of their new fall, fall collection and I really like it I'll probably go and get a few more things from that collection before it's gone because I really really like it I love it I'm actually wearing it today if you know if my cheeks look a little orangier than normal or something it's because this blush is a little orangier than what I normally wear but I love it I think it's really pretty for fall and I just really like the color. Okay, the next place is going to be a Beer Bradley, and this was actually a Beer Bradley outlet. I don't have an outlet where I live. I have a regular Beer Bradley store, but not an outlet, and I like the outlets because it's like half the price. Um, I really wanted to get a new backpack because my backpack I got like a year ago whenever I saw One Direction St. Louis. We stopped at a Beer Bradley outlet, so I've had my backpack for like a year now, and I kind of wanted to get a new one since it's like half the price at outlets, but they didn't have any patterns that I liked, so I didn't end up getting a backpack. I wasn't having very good luck shopping this time. I did get this pencil case. I um, can't remember how much it cost. I knew it was half price, so I think maybe like $13.00 or something around there but it's just a cute little pencil case or pencil bag so I can store all my pencils and stuff in it from school. I also got a new like wristlet because the one I've been using I think I also got last year when we went to St. Louis or actually I got it a little bit before that and um, I got it over a year ago and I use it every single day all the time. If I don't carry a purse I always carry that because it's got my keys on it, it's got all my money in it, my credit cards, driver's license, that sort of thing. So I always have it with me. I always stuff lipsticks in it too. So it's just like what I take with me every single place that I go to. And it was really, really torn up. I think it had like, it was just, I needed a new one. So I got this. Um, they didn't have any patterns that I was super crazy about, but I liked this out of all the, uh, the most out of the ones that they had. So I got this right here. It's really cute. Um, I just kind of store everything and it's an upgrade from my other one because it's a little bit bigger. You've got this zipper. And there's like this little section here which you can put money in and there's like a little zipper and then this next part which zips cards and stuff I'm covering them because I don't want you guys to steal my ID or my identity or whatever you've got this little part in the front here and I just store some lipsticks in there as many as I can shove and then I button it or whatever oh and then I've got the keychain part and I just have some like little like rewards cards and I have some mace on there that sort of thing that's that. That's Bear Bradley. That's all I got there. The next place is going to be H&M. This I also purchased about a month ago. It was in the summertime right before the Kansas City One Direction concert. So it was in the late, later part of July. And it is this button skirt from H&M. Oh, it's unbuttoned. That's awkward. And it is this button skirt from H&M. I love it so much. I'm super duper obsessed with it. It's really cute. Um, I just really like it. I went into Urban Outfitters and they had one of these on the front table and I loved it and I went and I tried it on and I liked it but it was $60 and I was like, I don't know if I like it that much. And I also went to American Apparel and tried one on and I liked theirs a lot more. But once again, it was $60 and I was like, I don't know if I like it that much. And then I went to H&M and I saw this one and it was $30 and I actually liked this one more than the other two. So I was like, that's a good deal. I could definitely spend $30 on it. That's not a bad deal at all. The one in Urban Outfitters had big pockets right here and I didn't like the wash. It was like really dark and I don't know. I just didn't like it as much as I liked this one. So I actually liked this one more and it was half the price. So that was a really good deal and I love it so much. This is actually one of my favorite outfits at the moment. I just love that little skirt so much. It's really cute and it's really flattering I think too because it's like high-waisted so like I don't know I feel like it kind of like makes your waist look small and then it kind of goes out and it's not like too short but it's not like too long at the same time so I think it's a really nice fit for like a denim 
skirt. The next place is going to be American Apparel, which like I mentioned, this was also about a month ago, but I mean, I don't, that's not a place that I shop at too often and it's a little bit of a splurge. So I was like, why not show you guys? So I'm going to show you. I just thought like a denim circle skirt would look really, really cute for the concert, which is actually what I wore to the St. Louis where we are. I wore a circle skirt, but I was thinking it would look really cute in like a washed black, kind of like a faded black denim with like some kind of halter top and like some kind of black heel shoes kind of thing so I just like came up with this outfit in my head and I was like oh that would be so cute so I was just like determined to get a, a washed black denim circle skirt so when I say washed black I mean like a faded black so then I went to American Apparel and I tried on the black one and my whole family was like that's so ugly that does not look good at all blah 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 blah, blah. so I was like fine I won't get it so then I just like decided not to get it because everyone told me it was ugly but I also tried on a darker denim circle skirt and everyone was like oh that one's so cute but then my friend I texted Riley a picture and she was like oh I don't really like the denim one I like the black one so I was like oh I'm so conflicted so I didn't end up getting either one because it's $60 and I don't think you can return there or like you have to get a store credit and it's not a place I shop at that often so I was like okay I'll just wait and make sure I really want it before I get it so then I went back to get it because I decided I wanted the black one and they had sold out of all of them so I had to order it and it literally came I think the day before the concert like it was the Monday before the concert yeah it was the, it was the Monday before the concert I had to go pick it up at the store and I wasn't sure if it was even gonna be there on time but then when I went to go pick it up I wanted to try it on one more time and then I still I tried the denim I tried the black one on and then I tried the denim one on and then I was like oh they're both so cute I can't choose so I ended up getting both of them basically because I couldn't decide and I'm really glad I did now because I love them both this is what the black one looks like like I said it's just a washed black denim circle skirt super duper cute I really love it I think these I just love these skirts I think that they're so cute and they're really versatile 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 because you can wear them like any season you can wear it in the summer you can wear it in the spring you can wear it in the fall you can wear it in the winter with tights and a sweater like you can wear it all seasons it's so cute and they last forever because they're made so nice so I just think they're like definitely worth the money and I thought they'd be really cute for the concert so then I also got the denim dark Dark, not really dark denim, I think there's one shade lighter than this, but the other one I have is like really, really light. It's like a medium to dark washed denim. And I love this one too. And this one goes with so many things. Like this literally goes with like everything, I'm pretty sure. So I thought that would just be really, really cute in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, in the summer. I just really liked it. So yeah, so then I got those. So then I was like, okay, now I have to find the perfect halter top. So I went to Amer I actually went to American Eagle. So I got a halter top from American Eagle. And my problem was it was white because I thought white would look best I'm wearing the black skirt, you know, I don't want to wear like black and black, but my problem with the white one was the one on American Eagle is really thin and you could completely see it through it, like you could see my bra and everything and I was like, mm, not really a fan of that, so I didn't really like the way it looked and there wasn't really any like fix for that because you can't wear a cami underneath like a cropped halter to the top, like that just wouldn't work. So I went back to American Apparel because I remembered seeing a halter top that was really cute in there and I tried it on and this one just fit so much better than the American Eagle one and the fabric was thicker and it, you just couldn't see through my bra through it which is important so I just went ahead and got this one and it looks like this and do, 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 super duper cute I love it I'll show some pictures of me wearing it I wore this one to I wore this tank top with the denim circle skirt to Kansas City with Converse and frilly socks and then I wore this halter again with a black skirt and black heels to the Chicago concert and this tank top looks really cute with my denim button skirt that I showed you with like a cardigan or something so I can wear that halter top with so many different skirts and I just think it's like a good essential to have and that one's made nice because you can't see through it okay, so that is it for American Apparel moving on everything from here on out I actually got in Chicago so the first thing is from Zara and I only got one thing from Zara and it is this scarf <coughs> oh goodness I keep choking I only got one thing from Zara and it is this scarf right here super cute I think it was actually on sale let's see here for like $12.90 so it's like $13 and it's so cute it's so soft I just love it it's like a really cute style it looks like this it's like a little short um, it's like a short infinity scarf but I really like the color I love like the mustardy kind of colors for scarves but a lot of times they're just like too yellow or whatever like I just don't like the way the color looks but this one was like perfect because it was like brown but not too brown but kind of like mustardy but not too mustardy so I really liked it and it was a good deal and it was really soft and I really liked it next up is Topshop which I was the most excited for I was just really excited to go to Chicago 50% probably because of Topshop. Like I just really like Topshop and I don't have one where I live. So I was like super duper pumped to go to Topshop and I was saving up my money and I was so excited. But you know what? I kind of didn't find that many things in Topshop. I was expecting to like 
buy a ton of stuff and go crazy but I didn't really find that many things I only found like two or three things but I'll show you what I got the first item is this scarf or this not this definitely is not a scarf this sweater and I really like it it's as you can see it's a little bit of a turtleneck it's cropped and it's gray the stating the obvious there. It's really cute. I love the fit of it. I don't know. I think it would look really cute with the button skirt, the denim button skirt, or maybe even the circle skirts, but I just thought it would be really cute with those because it's like cropped and it's a cute little sweater and it's super duper soft. And I think I actually tried it on with high-waisted jeans and it looks cute with those too. So I just thought it would be really cute, cute. for the fall and winter and I love gray. And then the next thing that I got was a dress and I am super duper obsessed with this dress. It looks like this and I like it because it has a high neck so it's not really a turtleneck but it has a high neck for sure obviously and it's a tank top and it's kind of not really t-shirt dress style but kind of like that's it's definitely not a t-shirt dress but it's kind of a similar style to one I guess and I really really like it I'll just show a picture of me wearing it or a clip of me like modeling it or something because it's hard to like show up and show what it looks like but I just really like it it's a nice fit because it's not too long but it's not like too short some t-shirt dresses or just like dresses in general are super duper short but that one's actually a nice appropriate length without being like too long and I don't know I just really 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 like that dress and it's really nice and dressy it's got like a dressy it's a dressier material it's not just like cotton or whatever so if I want to like look dressier I can just wear that and I think it would look really cute so yeah, and that was only $35, which I think is actually a pretty good deal because Topshop tends to be pretty overpriced, but I think $35 for a nice dress like that is actually a pretty good deal. So go Topshop for that one. The next thing I got from Topshop was three pairs of these little socks. I love my white little frilly socks. I bought one pair of these when I went to Topshop a year or two ago in California. I just bought like one pair of them and I literally wear them. I wear them, a I don't really wear them that much. Like I don't wear them every day or anything. Like they're I don't know maybe once a week whenever I want to dress up if I want to wear like a dress or a skirt but I don't really want to wear like dressy shoes I'll wear Converse with frilly socks and it looks super cute but a lot of times I'll want to wear them and they're like dirty or something so I decided to go ahead and just get they're having a deal it was like three for 15 or something and I think they're like seven dollars a piece so you saved a couple dollars by getting three of them so I just went ahead and got three of them in the white and I really like them Okay, next up is Adidas, or should I say Adidas, and I'm really excited about this. 90% um, of what I bought was inspired by Louie, but just don't judge me, okay? But the first thing that I got was this shirt right here, and this actually was the first thing that I bought, and it looks like this. It's really, really cute. If you're a One Direction fan, you probably can recognize it because Louie wears this, or has worn this a few times, and I love it. This is actually one of my favorite shirts that Louie owns, and I just really, really like it. I think it's looks super good on him and it's really cute and I've wanted one for the longest time but Urban Outfitters sells them and they're like $40 there I think and they're originally $28 but when I got them they're having a two for $30 graphic tee sale or something like that so I got it for like 15 but I had to get two but whatever it, it was a really good deal. The shirts are really 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 soft and nicely made and I love it. It looks super cute with like high-waisted shorts or like just jeans or something. The next thing I got was another shirt because like I just said, they were two for $30, two for 30. So I wasn't gonna pass that up. Like why would I not spend $2 more to get another shirt? That would just be stupid. So the next one I got was this one and I got this one because I really love his red and white Adidas jacket and um, I actually did see it there and I thought it was really cute but I was like I'm not sure if I want to spend $70 on it I don't know if that's something that I would really wear enough like it looks really cute on him but does it look cute on me I don't know so I was like what well if I can't get the red and white jacket then I'll just get a red and white shirt so I got this and I actually did genuinely like this the most out of all the other ones like I didn't really like the other colors as much I like red and I don't really have a lot of red so I did just really like this one the most too and then the next day, I regretted not getting the jacket, so I went back to Adidas and I got the jacket. And I love this jacket so much. It looks like this. I'll show a picture of Louie wearing it and then I'll also show a picture of me or a video of me modeling or something. And I love this jacket with all my heart and soul. If you guys follow my Snapchat story, you would know because I think I posted like a bazillion pictures of me wearing it and I literally posted like my I probably had like an 800 second snapchat story just about this jacket because I love this jacket it's actually so nicely made too like it's so like 
nice. So yeah, I think it's like really cute. And I'm obsessed with it. Mainly obsessed with it because Louis has it. And then next, also whenever I went back to get the jacket, I was kind of regretting not getting this shirt. So I went ahead and got that. And it's a t-shirt. It's, it's like the other one. Um, and, but it's white and it says Chicago instead of Adidas and I didn't really get any like too many Chicago souvenirs so I was like you know I think getting a Chicago Adidas shirt would be kind of cute and I really liked the white and black but I didn't want it to be exactly like the other one so the fact that it says Chicago kind of made it different different I guess so I don't know I just really liked it and Chicago is a cool city so why would I not want something that says Chicago and my mom ended up getting the other one for the two for thirty dollars because she saw a shirt that she liked I think so I need to get another shirt three was enough. Then the last item that I got in Chicago was this sweatshirt and it's a little similar to the last item I just showed you because it says Chicago and I just got this from a little store. Um, I think it was in the Navy Pier. Um, children's museum thing. There's like the Navy Pier and then there's like a little children's museum and then there's like little gift shops I think in there and I got this from one of the gift shops and it's just a black sweatshirt or a crew neck sweatshirt and it says Chicago. I really like this because these, this is like my favorite like sweatshirt kind of style. I just love like sleeping in these or just wearing them. I don't know. I just really like them but all the ones I have are kind of ugly and they, or they say something like about my school on them or something and I don't know I just really liked it because it says Chicago and I thought it was cool I think that is everything that I got in Chicago I will be doing some sort of American Eagle fall haul or something soon as you can see I think I have a American Eagle bag hanging on the back of my door I work at American Eagle so I shop there a ton I'm just gonna buy like a few more things and then I'm gonna film the haul finally and it'll be like whole months worth because I just keep buying stuff like I just it's really bad. I go crazy. I shop way too much in American Eagle. So I will be doing an American Eagle fall haul sometime soon. But um, anyways, I think that is all. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you're following me on all my social media, especially like my Snapchat because I've been using Snapchat a lot lately to get in contact with you guys. And I do my Q&A's through Instagram, so make sure you're definitely following those two. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!